Hi friends, please subscribe to Amravati Media and press the bell icon for more latest updates. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Respected Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, Sri Vyas Jagan Mohan Reddy Garu, Respected Union Minister of Ports and Shipping and Waterways, and Aish Sri Sarbananda Swanavalji and uh, Minister of Industry Government of Andhra Pradesh Sri Amarnath Garu Sri all the Ministers of Government of Andhra Pradesh, all the elected representatives of the Andhra Pradesh, and importantly, all the esteemed industrialists and uh, investors community, brothers and sisters, I would like to thank the government of Andhra Pradesh for inviting me for this uh, Global Investor Summit. As a sunrise, state of Andhra Pradesh has many advantages and the theme advantage of Andhra Pradesh is ideal for this Investor Summit. The state of Andhra Pradesh provides limitless opportunities, boundless passion, risk-taking entrepreneurs, skilled workforce, and talented youth and elderless natural resources. Therefore, I am glad to see I profile international and national business leaders and experts and uh, intellectuals attending this investor summit. Friends, India is indeed the land of amazing opportunities. In January 2023, the International Monetary Fund projected India will remain a bright spot of global growth. India is expected to contribute 15% of, of the global growth rate in 2023. This is because of the investor-friendly environment being provided by the Government of India under leadership of the Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji. Friends, enabling the environment, predictable policies, transparent rules, based economy, and an open mind to encourage with like-minded countries, India is creating new infrastructure at an, an imaginable pace. Today, we are building world-class highways, extensive network of railways, cost effective airways and high quality in phase, the Pradhan Mantri Gati Shakti Master Plan is providing integrated planning and coordinated implementation of infrastructure connectivity projects in the seven engines of roads, railways, airways, ports, mass transport, waterways, and the logistic infrastructure. Friends, the government of India and uh, all the state governments is making all efforts to attract foreign investors and business to 
part of India transformation. As a result, the FDI inflows have amounted double from 45 billion US dollars in 2014 to the highest over US dollars, 85 billion dollars in 21-22. Friends, the initiative undertaken by the all the governments of India reflects in various indices. Easy of doing business, raise of 79 rank from 142 in 2014 to 63 in 2019 in the World Bank Easy of Doing Business Ranking. Friends, Government of India and all the governments, we should commitment. We are doing all the activities, the new India that offers quality, reliability, scale, innovation, cost effectiveness, entrepreneurship and uh, new India that invites the world to make in India. The new India operating with a new set of investments, friendly policies and frameworks that include a simplified goods and service tax regime, reduced corporate tax framework, repealing close to 1500 laws and at a population scale, Digital India stake of the other digital identity systems, UPI based payment infrastructure, the young India wants to be in India now job creators and not only job seekers. Friends, India has to the third largest unicorn based in the world. India is expected to have 250 unicorns by 2025, which will create crores of direct jobs and employment opportunities. Initiative such as a national infrastructure pipeline will attract investment to infrastructure. This will be crucial for attaining the target of becoming a 5 trillion economy by financial year 2025. Friends, keeping in view India's vision of becoming a Atma Nirbhar, the government of India implementing production linked incentives, PIs, PLI schemes in 14 key sectors. These sectors, to name a few, include mobile manufacturing and specified electronic components, food products, pharmaceutical and drug and medical devices, attractive pharmaceutical integrants, advanced chemistry and batteries, electric technology products, automobiles and auto components, man-made fiber and technical textiles, oil farm production, like uh, more than 2 lakh crores rupees has been budgeted for the PLA schemes. The PLA schemes will transform India into global manufacturing hub and create over 60 lakh jobs. Friends, Andhra Pradesh has a comparative advantage in various sectors such as a marine products like shrimps and fish, drugs and pharmaceuticals, electronic goods, petroleum products, engineering goods, etc. I feel there is a clear opportunity for union government and state government to work together in further taking AP to new heights. This will be in the true spirit of cooperative federalism that Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi desires. Further, in the spirit of competitive federalism, 
states are competing in very positive manner against one another for investment of infrastructure. The government of India has continuously supported to the state government of Andhra Pradesh for its industrial development and growth through seamless connectivity and infrastructure. The Indian Railways has 32 projects amounting to 5,704 kilometers of work at a budget 64,000 crores at the currently under process. Our annual railway budget for the state of Andhra Pradesh has increased nine times from 886 crores for year before 2014 to now 8,406 crores per year in the last nine years. 72 world-class railway stations will be developed under Amrut Bharat station scheme in Andhra Pradesh, under Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana, we have committed for infrastructure in villages. 1.13 lakh kilometers of rural roads were constructed at a cost of 29,985 crores since 2014. AP is the only state to have industrial corridors pass through the state. The Vaisak Chennai corridor. Chennai Bengaluru corridor, Hyderabad Bengaluru corridor, Vishakapatnam, Kakinada, Tirupati, and Amravati, Vijayawada, Guntur were selected under the small city mission, mission in Andhra Pradesh. The total investment project cost of the Vishakapatnam smart city is close to 3,000 crores. Friends, this is a great time to invest in India as there are many attractive opportunities, I look forward a record number of MOEs being signed in financial commitment being made by the investor community in the state of Andhra Pradesh. I congratulate all the investors, those came forward for development of Andhra Pradesh as well as India. It is uh, definitely an era of advantage of Andhra Pradesh. I thank you for inviting me at the Global Investor Summit, especially Honorable Chief Minister of Jagan Mohan Reddy and his government ministry colleagues and all the investors once again on behalf of government of India. I welcome you. I congratulate you for this uh, development of Andhra Pradesh and as well as our country. Thank you very much. Jai Hind.